Being black owned businesses and this Arizona woman does so much more than style hair. She made history. Arizona native and accomplished stylist Essence Farmer has been braiding hair since the age of 12. I think a lot of black women just got to a place where they wanted to embrace their natural and authentic selves and their own beauty because we've always been shown another standard. Her iconic hair design featured in Essence magazine and in the National Museum of African American History in Washington, D.C. Whatever flows out of you, you know, you give to your client, and your client's able to just be able to wear it as almost a piece of art. But it wasn't always easy for her to be that artist. Arizona law made it difficult to open up her own hair braiding salon. They told me I had to have a license. At the time, Arizona's Board of Cosmetology required 1,600 hours of classroom instruction, even though not a single hour of natural hair braiding instruction was included in the program. I took up issue with it because the things that I did, which was braids, locks, twists, they didn't teach nor did they test on it. And at a cost of at least $10,000. All that time that I would have spent going to cosmetology school and the money, to me, just didn't make sense. So at just 23 years old, and with the help of the Institute for Justice, she challenged Arizona's cosmetology licensing laws, arguing they stifled job opportunities and suppressed a vibrant expression of culture. It's just a lack of inclusiveness because of ignorance. You know, if you don't have to really think about other people and, and include other people, you probably won't even, you know, make concessions. In April of 2004, then Governor Janet Napolitano signed Senate Bill 1159 into law, allowing all natural braiders to practice their art without the hurdles. I realize I made history. Essence now travels the world teaching and speaking on how to be successful in the hair braiding industry. It's crazy to know that I've actually done something that will change the trajectory for many people who are in this industry. Paving the way for braiders like Adelaide Good, who now owns Rare Essence Salon. She says her goal is to help build confidence in her clients, especially clients of color. It has been seen so often um, how many times women and men and children have been discriminated based on certain styles they wear naturally. And it's so protective for our hair, but it's demonized. But in recent years, she says attitudes towards black hair is evolving. Parents with children of color who want to have locks in their hair or braids in their hair, I think they are starting to speak up a little bit more to make the change. And as we celebrate this Juneteenth. It's just the whole idea of freedom and being able to, one, be able to be you. I think that's the reason why I opened up Rare Essence was to be able to make um, men, women, and children feel comfortable being their authentic selves and being free to be that, you know, whether it's in their professional life and their personal life. And for many years, we didn't have a place to go. And you can go to the 12 News app to learn more about black owned businesses and also see how people are honoring Juneteenth across the country.